Hey guys, sorry it was kind of a rush load up there. I'm Shri, this is Rivera. Hey. I'm Wesley Glover, I was the medic for Clark's unit. Yeah, do you want to tell me what happened? Clark was in the middle of a firefight. It looked like there had been nearby explosion and we pulled him out from under some heavy debris. Okay. Uh, looks like you dropped a tube. He wasn't responding well and vomited shortly after extraction. So we innovated him for airway protection. Got it, got it. What'd you give him? I used ketamine for the intubation. Okay. Did you notice anything else on him? On my exam, he had a few cuts and scrapes, but nothing too bad. I think he might have something intracranial. Hopefully we can get him back in time. Yeah, uh, nice work. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a secondary, and uh, we'll, go, we'll take it from there. Okay. So far, from what I can see, I did a head to show. I didn't really see any significant abrasions, no deformities anywhere, no ecchymosis. Uh, we, should, we can probably go ahead and try rolling. Yeah, on. I'll roll. All right. So I don't see anything on the back here. Uh, no external signs of trauma there. Um, no step offs. No tenderness. No, well, obviously. But no step offs at All least. Right. Okay. Just rolling back. Yep. All right. Oh. Oh boy. Alright, uh, I think the ketamine's starting to wear off. Um, oh, it looks like uh, you might have lost his IV somewhere along the way, too. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, drop an IO in him. got an IO right here. Yeah, nice. Alright, okay. here we go. You want to hit him with some ketamine? Yeah, definitely. Alright, here we go. He's pretty tacky. Oh, he's a little hypotensive, too. Alright, All right, there we go. Okay. Whoa, 38 over. Uh, I don't have pulses here, Ooh. actually. I don't have pulses either. All okay. Right. Hey guys, start CPR. All right. Uh, can you take a listen to him? Um, right. Yeah. I'm gonna put some pads on him here. Okay. I've got, yeah, rate 136. I'm gonna charge him up. Yeah, I can't. I, there's too much prop wash. I can't hear anything. Okay. All right. I'm gonna shock him. All right. All right. All right. All right. Ready? Clear. Wait. Hold on. Clear. All right. Okay. Check pulses. Nothing. Yeah. You know, I, this this looks like a sinus rhythm on the monitor, so I think he's in PEA. Oh, you're right. Um, all right. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's uh, let me take a look. Let me get him some epi. Okay. Okay. I'm just to see if he's got any uh, okay, any bleeding. Epi delivered. Okay. I don't see any free fluid in his belly. Let me try to sneak in here and take a look at his heart. Heart looks good. Yeah. I mean, it's fluttering a little bit. Pumping. That long, ooh. Uh, I think he's got a, you know what, he's probably got a tension pneumo. Yeah, there's not very good lung sliding there for sure. Yeah. Uh, I got a 14 gauge needle right here. Okay, why don't you pop Those it patients in. patients right? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put this in second intercostal space. Great, okay. All right, um, all right, let's hold CPR, check pulses, see if we got anything better. Hold CPR, guys. Okay. Uh, nothing. Nothing? Okay, restart compressions. Alright, I think we probably have to do a chest tube. Yeah, I think you're right. Think okay, here, you want to uh, give me some chlorhex real quick? Okay. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got a scalpel. I got a little Okay, you blade. do it. Here, you got right. Sharpen the field here. Okay, hold on. Hold compressions for a second here. Okay, okay. here you go. I'm gonna pop your finger in them. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got oh. a tube all the way. That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, here pulses. we go. Yeah, he's got bounding pulses right now. Whew. All right. All right. So, uh, still a little tacky. Why don't we give him a little bit more ketamine? Or actually, I got some fentanyl right here. Yeah, let's give him something for that. There you go, buddy. Now you want to recheck him on the ultrasound, see if we see, see if the lungs come back up. So it looks good. Well, he definitely doesn't have a tension pneumo anymore. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, he... It looks, I mean, he still has a bit of a pneumothorax, but... It's gonna take a bit to come up. Yeah, I think the lung's just not up yet, at least that that area, and yeah. um, anteriorly. But, you know, look, he's got... He's got a pretty good squeeze. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I think, I think, I think he's... All right. He's better. Okay. Woo. Okay. Well, thanks so much for your help, guys. Thanks. Yeah.
All right, well, let's get him. Let's get him uh, covered up and uh, get to base.